What's up guys, it's K2J Wu coming to you from the box. So tonight on the box we're going to discuss some um, esports things and kind of a little clan update. Uh, we'll try to keep this episode really short. I uh, just wanted to talk over a few things with you guys, so let's get into it. So let's talk esports, mainly Call of Duty. So <clears throat> this weekend, saw the first event for Black Ops 3. What makes that significant? Well, we're about a week into the game. We don't have a rule set. There are no universal bans. Tostinos comes out and offers 50k for an 18 invitational. Tostinos, everybody's favorite midnight munchie, has done the impossible. Let's think about it. MLG, Twitch, Twitch, MLG. It's fucking water and oil. But for some reason, they get together, they put on a phenomenal event, and we have the first 50K of the year to talk about. All right, so what makes this uh, event sweet? Well, week out, like I said, no real rules, bunch of gentlemen's agreements. Teams kind of got to show up and just play the game for what it was. Here are the eight teams they invited out. Um, team one was Complexity, Rise Nation, FaZe Clan, Team Elevate, Luminosity Gaming, Team Envious, Optic Gaming, and our friends Team Caliber. Alright, so let's uh basically all they did is they came in one day event, <clears throat> they paired everybody up, single elimination. I believe it was yeah, best of three through the first two rounds, and then the finals were a best of five. Uh, so we'll just talk about it real quick. Um the first matchup we saw. Uh, was Cole versus Envy. This one surprised me. I thought um, Envious would come out with this one. Uh, Cole put together a phenomenal set of games. Um, went ahead and beat Envy 2-1 to secure the first spot in semifinals. Uh, the next match we saw was uh, the OG Elevate. And um, I mean, I guess the most surprising thing about this match was that Elevate managed to take a map. OG claims they only practice together for three days. I can believe that. Those guys do things like that. Um, however, um, they had a pretty strong showing. So that set us up for our first semifinal match of Cole versus OG. In the second half of the bracket, you saw um, Rise um, against LG, which is Luminosity Gaming. Uh, they're kind of a newer organization for this year. Um, <clears throat> Rise went on to beat LG uh, two to one. Um, I think this could have went either way. I didn't really watch this series too much. Um, both these teams seem really decent on paper, so should be a good uh, good season to come. Um, the final game was Phase versus TK, and um, that had TK beating Phase. I think that surprised a lot of people. I mean, this TK roster is kind of old school, um, sharp. Neslo, Fury, Goonjar. Um, I thought they'd be good. I thought it'd take them a little more time to gel. Um, FaZe is coming off of a very, very, very hot year um, through AW. So I was looking to them to carry a little more momentum, I guess. But uh, TK came in and got it done 2 0, beating FaZe and moving on to play Rise. Uh, so in the first. Semi-final match, we had um, Cole play OG. OG comes out 2-1. Um, they were looking dominant. Uh, after that, we watched Rise play TK. And um, I was a little bit on the TK bandwagon at this point. I, uh, I was a little hyped for TK. Um, not going to happen today, though. Rise came through, um, beat them 2-1. Uh, Rise was looking pretty sharp at this point. I guess we'll get into my player of the game and end up being voted MVP of the tournament, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but um, we'll get into that. So, uh, set up the OG versus Rise final. Um, the fan favorites by far OG by 90, 90, 89 or 91% bouncing back and forth during the little poll on uh, stream. Uh, looked like they were going to get it done too. Came out, uh, had them 2 1, and um, just similar to a lot of the matches in AW, just couldn't 
couldn't get it done in the finals on the main stage in the last game and um, ended up blowing the last two maps, um, including one of the sickest plays, round 11, S&D, double annihilator, double annihilator kill! Octane, you beast! Octane, fucking savage! What can I really say? It was Octane. Um, so that was kind of what was going on there. Um, not a big deal. So Rise gets first. They take home $20,000, I do believe. Yep, 20 k Optic Gaming takes home $6,000. Um, complexity and team caliber each with 4000 And looks like the other four teams 4,000 also so hey congratulations everybody first event of the season we had MLG and twitch TV hosting a call of duty event for Tostino's Tostino's pizza rolls what's next uh, in other competitive news I guess um, today the 17th um, smite uh, super regionals has begun uh, I'm just gonna bring up a quick bracket right here um, only two matches as far as I know today. Um, Team Envious came in with the first seed, so they got the bye along with Eager. And I do believe Eager is a call of, or sorry, a Smite clan originally. Team Envious, obviously, of Call of Duty and about eight other games now. I want to be Envious. I'm Envious. I am Envious. Yeah, so I just, um,. Uh, they're pretty legit. I think Enemy, um, also of the six teams that made it from the U.S. side, also a uh, Smite brand, uh, branded team. So anyway, in the first round, we had TSM, Team Solo Mid, uh, play Enemy. And in what I guess is considered an upset, um, Enemy beat Team Solo Mid and moved on, and they will play NVS later this week. Um... In the three spot was Cloud9, and the six spot was Cognitive Gaming. And I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, this isn't updated, but Cloud9 won that match 3 0. Yeah, I believe so. So I think they'll be taking on Eager um, in that portion of the bracket. And then the Europeans haven't played yet today, um, as this is a event that goes on from the 17th to the 22nd of this month so it'll be uh it'll be ongoing and i'll hit you up with more updates next week so that'll wrap up our esports portion of it. yeah so <clears throat> now on to some clan stuff right what's up with lights out esports what's going on with lights out gaming um well we got on a phone call on sunday a few of the clan jumped on skype <clears throat> and we discussed some of the things i'd put in my last video uh, the box episode one and uh, basically it came down to everybody was kind of on the same page um, E3 J Villa is more than fired up he's been waiting for an excuse to get on this and um, a few of the other guys have more than jumped on board so I'm gonna talk a quick minute to talk about their projects and uh, what's been going on so um, first there is a website incoming um, Striker and HG Mason had volunteered to give us their website. However, um, it wasn't quite going to work for us. So Medic jumped on board and Medic 291 and just started creating a website. So that is in the works. Um, video project wise, um, our guys have been streaming nonstop. I'll do my best to get all the descriptions in the links below. Um, Basically, I'll tell you that E3E Justin um, is working on a couple of projects. He's uh, been kicking some zombies lately, so he is doing a whole thing on the Pack-a-Punch guns and what every gun does when it's been Pack-a-Punch. So if you're interested in zombies and kind of what everything does with that, I would check out that series on Pack-a-Punch a gun um, on his site. Uh, Liquid Fire TB is doing something very similar with um, Gobble Gum and the new gobble gums in zombies and what each of them do inside and outside the game so he's been putting up gameplays with that so if you want to check that out those two guys have awesome series going um they're also doing a lights out craft the minecraft series they're streaming i do believe at 9 p.m eastern every single day on their twitch channel for a half hour um and putting together this series of 
um, videos for um, a Minecraft series. So that's definitely going on. Um, I'd like to thank you for you, Justin. He put up the video on the Lights Out site today on the um, Scuff Gaming review. So that's awesome. Um, we'll be having another review going up later this week. I do believe Medic291 and ResMedic are going to put together um, reviews for Battle Beaver Customs, um, one of the other uh, controller companies on the professional circuit so we'll give you our opinion on those I um, asked those guys to pick those up over scuffs just to give them a shot they had some uh, different technology they were working with and I wanted to give that a shot and have some opinions so we'll bring that to you um, they're also gonna try to get a series going where they are doing something together I'm not sure what their plan is I believe it's gonna be called the aid station but I have no idea um, what that's going to be on yet, so I'll give you more information as that time comes. Um, and that's it, guys. That's your catch up on Lights Out Gaming. Well, now you're a little more caught up on esports, you're a little more caught up on the Lights Out Gaming clan. Um, if you guys don't mind, subscribe, like helps us out a lot go check out the other guys channels um, support them as they support the community with content as always I'm your boy K2J Wu and we'll catch you next time on the box